This is part 94 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss providing visual feedback using loading element ID AJAX option. This is continuation to part 93, so please watch part 93 before proceeding. One of the problems with partial page updates is that they do not provide any visual feedback if the request is taking a long time to process. With full page postbacks, we don't have this problem because the entire page is posted to the server and hence the user knows that something is happening. For example, let's say a request in our AJAX enabled application takes 10 seconds to complete. When the user clicks the button and if we don't provide him with any visual feedback that the request is still being processed, then the user may think that the website is not working and he may click the button again. So it's very important that we provide some visual feedback. Let's understand this with an example. So this is the application that we have been working with in the previous sessions. Now look at this at the moment when I click um, this all link, we get the result instantaneously. So this is not a problem. But let's try and introduce some latency. So let's use system.threading.sleep and let's make the current thread sleep maybe for three seconds. So system.threading.thread.sleep and we have to specify the time in milliseconds. So if we want the thread to sleep for four seconds, then we have to specify 4,000 milliseconds. So let's do it for all action method, top three action method, and bottom three action method. Okay, so let's run this once again. And now when we click on a link, it's going to take at least four seconds to load. Look at this, when I click all, it's going to take four seconds. Now since this is a partial page post back, you know, the entire page doesn't get posted back to the server. Um, so that's why the user doesn't know whether if the request is being processed or whether the application is not working. Look at this, when I click on top three, now, you know, there is no clue on if the request is still being processed. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to provide some form of visual feedback to the user, you know, uh, so that he knows the request is still being processed. Okay, so for example, maybe I want to display an image like this. So when I click on a link, I want to display an image like this, so which indicates that the request is being processed. And then as soon as they um, server completed processing, we want to immediately load the data. So let's see how to achieve that. Okay, the first step is obviously I need this image. So I have already downloaded that onto my machine. So within the C colon images, I have this animated uh, GIF image. Now, if you want to create these animated uh, spinner GIF images, here's a very good website that I have come across, spiffygif.com. Okay, so that website allows you to create animated spinner images. Okay, let's say for example, if you want the size of those arrows to increase, you can customize and then you can download that image using this link. All right, so after you have downloaded the image, create images folder within your MVC application. And let's copy this image into that folder. Okay, so that's the first step. And the second step is on the index view, I'm going to create a div tag, okay? So basically, I want the image to be appearing just above the table where we display the students, okay? So I'm going to include a div tag here and then let's give it an ID. Maybe let's call it div loading. And then we need to set style to display colon none because we don't want this to be initially displayed. Okay, display colon none. And then inside this div tag, I'm going to use an image element and I'm going to set source to tilde for slash images directory and within that, what's the name of our image? Spinner.gif. So let's specify the source here. All right. So that's the second step, include a div tag, uh, give it an ID and set the initial display to none and then use an image tag, specify the source. And then within our Ajax action link, we have you know this Ajax option object, it has got this property, loading element ID, okay? So 
the loading element ID should be set to the ID of this div. Okay, so let's take this div and set it here. Okay, so let's copy this and paste it with the other Ajax action links. That's all there to it. So let's save everything. Let's go ahead and run this now. Okay, so let's click top three. Look at that. We have the image, you know, rotating, uh, which indicates to the user that, you know, the request is being processed. And look at this. When I click bottom three, the image is again rotating. And then as soon as the request finishes processing, I get bottom three. If I click all, you know, the same idea. Okay, but then let's say, for example, you know, I have all um, students here. When I click top three, I want to clear this result you know, whatever result that's present here. And then I just want to show this image. Okay, so how to achieve that? We'll discuss that in our next video session. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.